people how are you doing this is your coach Mudoni Mukirin Jaroge. I am so happy to be here and this is for you if you feel like this is your breaking point if you feel like this has become too painful and you cannot take the pain anymore if you feel like now this is it like you just want to take your own life you just want to give up on your children or if you feel like this is the worst it can get like you don't have any more tears to cry like this is the like this is the edge and this is my breaking point if that is you this video is for you. If you've been asking God for a sign, if you've been asking God to tell you the way forward or to show you what to do with your life, this is a sign. Take this as a sign. And I want my voice to play over and over in your head. I have six, about six or seven reasons why you should not give up why you should not give up because it doesn't pay anything to give up and i'm talking about someone who is really feeling like god has forgotten them like someone who's feeling like they're not worthy of living or nothing is working someone who's tired of the frustrations and of the pain and everything this video is for you so I want to jump right into it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I want to tell you, I have been at a place in my life where I felt like that was the edge and that was my breaking point. And it gets better, you guys. It gets better. And I want to talk about uh, six reasons why you should not give up. Six or seven, you know, why you should not give up and why you should um, keep pushing on and why you should hang in there. The first reason, the first reason why you should not give up is because everyone is going through something. And a lot of times the reason we're not able to overcome our pain or overcome what we're going through, or we're not able to be kind to ourselves during our down moments, is because we think whatever we are going through is only happening to us. We single ourselves out and we think if the world is moving on and everybody is happy in their business, everybody is happy in their marriage, everybody is happy with their life, accept me. You single yourself out and think, oh my God, this is just only happening to me. Well, I want to tell you this. Everybody is struggling with something. The women we see trending on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, the ones who look like they're trouble free, they're also going through something. Everybody is going through something and everyone is trying to recover from something. If you are going through job loss or if you are fired, if you're going through a breakup, you're going through a tough time, you are going through maybe a chaotic time in your business or whatever, other millions, like two or three million people in the world are going through the exact same thing. So don't single yourself out. Don't think by the way, this is just happening to me alone. Mm -mm. A lot of us probably are suffering with the same issue that you're suffering with. Yeah. So don't think about, think like, oh, I'm the only one who's not able to feed my kids. I'm the only one who's not able to make a marriage work. I'm the only one who cannot make a business work. No, other people are also going through the same thing. Yeah. The fact that they're not coming out here to talk about it does not mean they're not. And why do I know they're going through the same thing? Because of something called the human experience. Human is to pain, human is to suffering, human is to survival. And there's no one who has it easy. There's no one who's not going through the human experience. So just remember, when you go through that pain and that hardship, remember, you are going through the human experience. And humanity, it's part of humanity, experiencing pain, suffering, and all those things. So don't single yourself out. Remember, there are other women, other men, and other people going through a lot of suffering as well. It's part of being a human being. The second reason why you should not give up, and this is a video I will do on its own, is because a lot of successful people that we know have suffered in their life too. And they talk about their suffering. Oprah Winfrey talks about being molested by her uncle. Was it her uncle or her cousin? She actually even got pregnant and had a baby at 14 years. And a lot of successful people, even here in the country, talk about how they've suffered. Talk about how they had to go to school barefooted. Talk about how they had to help their parents feed 10 children. A lot of successful people have had their down moments and they talk about it. And they talk about those experiences. And let me tell you, if it were easy, everybody would do it. If it were easy, everybody would all be rich. We would all be at Bahamas by the beach swimming. But that's, that's not what happens. You know, it's never that easy. So, and, and it's, 
Also, when you go through something that you have to work so hard for and have to really do a lot for, and in the end you get it, you also value it more. Yeah? So remember, even the people you're looking up to and then you think, oh my God, I envy Oprah, she's a billionaire, I envy so-and-so, she's this and that. Uh, remember, they've also had to go through a lot of tough, tough times in their lives before they got to the fame and the money and all that. So it's not just you. It's also, I, I, first, I go back to my first point. Don't single yourself out. A lot of people also have suffered and they've overcome and so can you. Yeah, you can also overcome. The third reason why you should not give up, some situations happen to our lives and come to our lives to sharpen us, to teach us something, and or to teach us something even about ourselves, about life, or how to handle things better moving forward. So, look at the lesson, whatever situation you are in is teaching you. And sometimes there are things that happen into our lives without us us asking for for them we cannot ask for pain we cannot ask for suffering but some of these things just find themselves find their way to our lives and we are left in pain and in suffering and in frustration at the same time ask yourself what can i learn from it from this how what can i learn from it and what is it teaching me how is it strengthening me yeah become a student of life and when you're praying about it also ask god what should i learn lord what are you teaching me within this situation situations come to our lives to teach us something it's either it teaches you or you get stuck and the reason why we don't allow it to teach us is because we are stuck on why is it happening to me we think we can turn back time to undo whatever it happen it ha is happening but we cannot we can only learn the lessons and move forward wiser with experience and knowing better yeah also so ask yourself what is this teaching me what should i learn from this number four why you should not give up a lot of times when we're going through a hard times we're going through pain we're going through a difficult situation it's easy to focus so much on what is not working on why my marriage is failing why my businesses are not working on why this and this is happening why i'm fighting with my parents why blah 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 it's easy to look at what is not working or the negative or what we need to work on but then we forget there's something that is working in our lives. We forget as much as there's a lot of negative things or a lot of pain, there's also some good side. Nothing is just black or white. There's usually some black and some white. So you can focus on, sometimes when I go through my, uh, I'm going through my coaching sessions and I ask a client, okay, so what is good in your life? Uh, what achievements have you had so far or what? In what way would you say you're blessed? And then they tell me, Mudhoni hakuna, there is nothing good in my life. And then I, the first thing I tell them, that breath you're using to say hakuna is a blessing, number one. Yeah? So also look at what is working. You can look at I am alive. You know, I am. I have the gift of good health. I have children. It, it can be you're not able to feed them. But even children are a blessing and they are a gift. You know? It can be, and even sometimes instead of looking at things like, you know, I'm a single mother, I have three children, I need to feed, uh, I know I had to leave my abusive marriage, so now I've become a single mother. Look at it like, you know what, the good thing is, I am no longer being beaten by this person, I am no longer in a toxic relationship, I can be able to love my children the way they deserve without being in a toxic situation, right? So as you look at what the pain as you look at what is not working and the suffering and the frustration i also want i know it can be difficult but i want you to focus and look at what is working maybe you have a supportive partner maybe you still have a job maybe you have uh, uh, the gift of uh, good life you can also it can also be you're very hard working even you have a job but you're very hard working it can be your disciplined it can be your very prayerful also focus on the good things about your life focus on how blessed you are and what you have that is working yeah let's not just look at what is not working because when you focus on what is not working you feel frustrated you feel like a failure it drains you so much that you don't even have the energy to go for what you want or to even get better but when you also focus on this other side on what is working and how you know as much as you have bad things happening or you feel like you are the verge of breaking down or breaking 
there are good things about your life you just have to look at them yeah look at that and that is what will give you fuel when you look at what is working for example when you look at by the way i'm alive i'm not sick i have supportive parents at least i have a friend i can call at least i've applied for a few jobs you know i, I am hard working i know i'm respect Respectful. I know I am caring. I know God has given me a good personality. I might be going through this, but at the same time, I am blessed like this. When you look at what is working, it gives you a lot of motivation and a lot of energy to even want to go for more and to work on getting unstuck. Number five. Point number five on why you should not give up. A lot of times it's not about the situation it's not that the situation is that big or that painful a lot of times it's what we tell ourselves in the head and the significance we attach to that particular situation this is an example i keep giving and i want to give it again sometimes you can picture something happening to your mother in the village something nasty maybe thieves coming to her house or whatever an attack or whatever and when you imagine that happening to her you become emotional you can even cry shed a tear yeah it doesn't mean that situation has happened but it's what you're thinking here so if if something that has not happened can even make you shed a tear Something that has happened and it's making you shed tears and making you feel bad does not mean that thing is so big. It, it's the story you tell yourself about that situation in your head. If, for example, you lost a job, you can choose to tell, you can tell yourself, oh, I am a failure, I keep losing jobs, no one will ever hire me, everybody knows I have been fired. You can choose to tell yourself that and cry yourself every day and drink yourself crazy and, you know, uh, but you can also choose to tell yourself, you know what, I was not born in that company. They hired me, but there are other thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions of companies here in Kenya, yeah, that I can apply for jobs. Another thing, I'm not the first one to be fired, and you will not be the last one. People are still getting fired. You can also tell yourself, you know what, I've gotten fired, it's not the end. So what do I need to do from moving forward? Which people do I need to talk to? And how can I see that moving forward, even when I get employed, at least it will not get me off guard or at least I can have a side hustle that can hold me in the meantime. It's the story you tell yourself in the head. If something happens, or for example, if your marriage fails or a relationship fails that you, you really had backed on and that you really were counting on, you can either tell yourself, I am a failure in relationships. Nobody ever loves me. I am not lovable. People hate me. I will die alone as a single woman. You can choose to tell yourself that. Or you can tell yourself, you know what, Madoni? The right person will see right through you. Yeah? And you know what? My soulmate will not disappear on me like that. My soulmate will not cheat on me. These things happen. People... You know, relationships fail and marriages fail. It doesn't mean I'm the first one or I will be the last one. So what am I learning from this experience? And what do I need to do moving forward? Do I need to stay in a situation begging somebody to love me and give, give me the basic respect? Or do I need to respect myself and know my worth and move forward? It's the story you tell yourself in the head. If you want to see that situation as a giant, as, an, as very enormous, as, as the end, you will see it at the end by what you feed your mind. If you tell yourself, you know what, this is such a tough situation, but you know what, I can get over it. I know I can. Other people are going through uh, other difficult things and they are recovering. Why not me? Why not me? Yeah, so that's number five. Number six, I want you to remember, this is number six, a time when you were so broken, when you felt like that was the end, but you still got over it but you still recovered, but you still emerged a strong person. I want you to think of that time where you felt like, by the way, this is it. Like, it can't get any worse. Like, Mimi, I am done. I'm going to get fired. Like, this man is going to leave me and all those things. And you recovered and you're doing way better than you were that time. I want you to remember that time. You are still the same person and you can still recover from whatever it is you're going through. Number seven, this is the last one. When you're going through a tough time, I don't want you to focus on, you know, now I will die alone, single, no one will ever hire me. I want you to focus on the next step. I have gotten fired. What can I do moving forward? Let me start at applying for jobs. Let me revamp my CV. Let me look at my savings. Okay, how much? Okay, what can I do with it? You know, 
look at this next step and take it don't focus on six months from now a year from now i wanted to build a house a year from now mm -mm. focus on now do you need to talk to your bank about a particular loan to tell them by the way i've lost my job so stop deducting a lot of money or give me a grace period do you need to talk to your circle do you need to talk to your parents and tell them by the way i've lost my job i want i would like to move in even for six months before i can what is the next step you need to take focus on it don't focus on the next one year on the next two three years focus on that one step you need to take yeah so i want to tell you it can get better and it has gotten better and you are not the one who uh brought yourself that far god has brought you that far remember to pray about your well-being remember to pray so that god can strengthen your core so that god can walk with you remember also to ask for help and asking for help doesn't necessarily mean that person will give you but we said the victories in the process for you asking for what you want you never know you'll ask two three people one will say yes or one will refer you to somewhere where you can get help yeah so i wish you all the best if you're going through a tough time do not give up take this as a sign and i want you to hear my voice over and over in your head telling you not to give up i went through a difficult time that i talk about I, i've gone through a couple of difficult times and at those times i also feel what you feel like i sometimes i feel like this is the end um or you know like this is my breaking point but i want to tell you the fact that whoever you're looking up to is not telling you they go through a hard time it doesn't mean they're not going through that hard time so you can overcome and you can get over it mm -hmm. and you can be happier and you can achieve whatever it is you want taking your own life abandoning those children or doing the worst you think you should do at the moment is not gonna solve the issue and some of these painful situations we have to work through the pain and through uncomfortable situations to get what we want so thank you so much guys for watching if you know someone who's going through a hard time who's going through pain please send this video to them or send them a link so thank you so much guys bye i wish you a wonderful afternoon